are you in the recovery process? What's the last few weeks been? What, what are you able to do at this point? Um, <clears throat> make some strides every week. Uh, just starting to get in the running motion for real. So, this is, I mean, overall, it's been a good, challenging process. It's been fun to go through. It's been fun to go through. It's, that's kind of not what you'd expect to hear about an injury. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's just something new like that I just got to deal with. So, I'm just trying to make it fun for, for myself so I can get through it. How do you go about making it fun? Just come in with the right mindset that I know I'm trying to get it better so I can be the player I want to be. Matthew's obviously, his injury was before yours, and so he's farther along in the process. How much have you kind of leaned on him or just maybe talked to him about, hey, what's next? You know, what's coming up as far as what I got to do? Um, I kind of just pay attention to his mindset when you go about things. Like, he got a great attitude coming in every day. <clears throat> so I kind of just try to follow his lead. I guess when you think about Donovan, where he was at this point, like last season, to where he is now, just making the transition between positions, how have you seen him grow? Uh, he definitely made some big strides. Um, he got, really, he's got the right mindset. Like, he, like every, it's like everybody want to be the guy, and that's going to make the whole team better. So I can see that's coming out of him. What's been kind of your early impressions of uh, EJ Williams, the transfer coming in? Uh, he picked up everything quick, uh, stretched the field, uh, make contested catches. So everything we're looking for in the outside receiver, he got it. Do you have like a, a timetable of when you hope to be back like you want to be ready for Ohio State or that kind of stuff? That's the plan, but we're just going to see. We're going to put it in the guy's hand. Just what else about, like, what, what are some things in the recovery process, I guess, people like? From the outside, wouldn't see like what are some things that are basically some challenges and then some things that you've learned about yourself. Um, with this, you're gonna have some like good days and bad days. Like some days you're gonna want you're gonna get up and you're like I don't want to do nothing on this leg today. So, but I mean you just gotta you just gotta figure it out and push through it. How hard is that kind of early process when you're kind of just not it's not even just about playing football. It's just about kind of rebuilding that you know basic strength in the knee. Oh. Um, it can get a little frustrating sometimes because you, I mean, you, I mean, I obviously want to be like ahead of where I am, but I mean, you gotta take one day at a time. What all do you remember from from when you got hurt? Because I, I can't remember specifically, but I think you kind of landed off with you. Like, what what all do you just kind of remember? Like, do you know immediately something was like wrong? Uh, I kind of it was just something I, that I never felt before, so I, I was I didn't know really what it was. I mean, I was getting like thoughts and everything, but I didn't I didn't have a clue what was going on, but I just know it felt different. It was I never felt before. You have a new position coach now, just uh, how would you describe Coach Tucker and working with him? Uh, he um, he want to give us everything he got, like every day. Like, he's the same person every day. And that's, I mean, that's what you want out of a coach. How do you just reflect on last season? Basically, like what you were able to do um, before you got hurt, like wait, what are things you like about it? What are things you kind of wanted? Uh, I definitely want to pick up where I left off. Uh, but, I mean, I got 